Hey guys, welcome to another episode of MSK Coding. We are going to be doing a huge function Friday, even though it's not a Friday, but it's still going to be very fun and about functions. So we are going to be doing three functions today. The hypot function, the square root function, and the power function. And you might be like, well, the first two functions weren't highlighted. You know, the s square root function, that's just black. And the hypot function, that's also just black. And how, why do are these used? What's the use for them? And let's first talk about the hypot in use of a triangle. How do you find it? Well, you do x squared plus y squared and you take the square root of that don't you you take the square root of this don't you and if you like what's a way you can shortcut this process maybe like well maybe we can do this we can do the square root of power x comma 2 plus power y comma 2 and then you can take this all under square root and then you might think well let's just use the square root function and then put all of that under but the smartest way is to use the hypot function look at this you can just put a normal 3 4 triangle well 3 4 5 triangle and you'll just spit out 5 but again how do you use this well here's what you do you do from math import asterisks and remember in coding spelling is very important so ta-da like that didn't say anything what happened look at this now i can use this and i can also do this and i can do this i could do this before but still and yeah but if you want to figure out how you can get the hypot function normally here's what you have to do you have to do this you can define hypotenuse and you should take in the inputs x comma y and now you can do this you should also take it to be, well, hmm, we can do pow x comma 2 plus pow y comma 2, then take the square root of all of this. And once we do, and you can make this actually the hypotenuse equals ta-da and what we can do is we can just do return hypot and use see if this works we i'll set x to be three and let's set y to be four and let's do well actually you don't even need to do this hypot Continues. I could just do three comma four. You didn't even need all that. Or you could actually do this. X comma y five. You could also do the same with three comma four. And but think about this. You might be like, what's this def? What's this return? Why do you need to do all this? What's happening? Well, this is an example of a user made function and these types of functions will not be shown in function friday because we're only talking about inbuilt functions i've talked about that for the first function friday video the one that introduced it and so this is also useful for beginners and um, we have this from math import star. That's just importing a module. It's like if you know how to do turtle in Python, you, you do um, import turtle or from turtle import star or import turtle as something blank. 
T's always the best for evil use in that situation. But yeah, and return over here is just saying spit out what the hypotenuse is. Pretty easy, right? And well, that's it. And just so you know, the subscriber goal is at 75. You don't have any time limit. But what would be nice is by the end of February next year, we have 61 subscribers. So if there's anybody here that hasn't subscribed to my channel and wants to because they like my videos, thanks. And I think you should. It's a really, really good channel in my opinion. And yeah, I only need 14 more people that like my videos. And we might go up to, I don't know, maybe a hundred, so, hmm, think about that. We might need maybe 39 more people, actually, just to get to a hundred. Tell me my math, math isn't correct. I think it is. Bye!